Where the Aberdeen play their home games? Pataudry. And that is where we'll be next, guys. We'll be take on Aberdeen in the next episode of the FIFA 22 career mode. We're trying to chase them down. We're currently in fourth place. We're looking to make third place our own. But we're six points behind them. Yes, we are half a dozen points behind Aberdeen with 14 games into the season. I don't quite know how that's happened. I don't know what excuse I can come up with, but we just haven't been good enough. It's as simple as that. Our league form hasn't been bad, but we've just had too many like weird, dodgy results mixed in. I do think once we get out of Europe, we've got one more game left in Europe. We can't go through. We are going to be knocked out of Europe. We're already technically knocked out of Europe. It's just one last game remaining. I do think we can begin to climb the league table. I'm actually confident we can, and I've not given up hopes of... People might laugh. I've not given up hopes of winning the league. Yeah, we're 12 points behind Celtic, but I think we can do it. <laughs> I'm convinced we can do it. But we need to put a good run together. We need to start winning multiple games in a row. And I say it every single time. I don't want it to be a broken record, but we need to start keeping clean sheets. We need to stop conceding so many fucking goals. So I'm going to say it again. Hopefully like a broken clock. You know, right twice a day. Hopefully we are right this time and we can keep a clean sheet and we can pick up an important win that we need. Aberdeen have been scoring goals though, so of course it's not going to be easy. You take in, you take in the fact that they can they score goals for fun and we kind of concede goals for fun. It kind of means that, yeah, the, the clean sheet, it's not likely to come here today, but we're, we're going to try, guys. We're going to, we're going to do our absolute best. So we are going to refer back to the five at the back as we normally do. Uh, Lorenz is just sharpness is done mine is free as well so we're going to take Lorenz out we're going to play you know what I've been happy with what New New Lewis Nielsen's been doing in real life at the moment so we'll, we'll give him a chance there you go I can't say any fairer than that Nielsen's been delivering in, in real life so I'm going to give him a chance in the game and we're also going to rest Barry Mackay we'll play Ginelli in there and uh, does Devlin need rest? That maybe we'll rest Devlin. We'll we'll play we'll play Haring. Uh, do we rest Sims as well? Yeah, you know what? Controversial. We're going to do it. We're going to rest Sims and we'll give Dunbar a chance. So Dunbar never gets to start. He's getting his chance now. Hopefully the Yank can you know do something that <laughs> uh, proves I was I was right in, in giving them the opportunity. But Aberdeen are lined up with Borjan, McKenzie, Michaelidis, Bates, McCrory, Hernandez, McLean, and Campbell, Kennedy. Jet and Hedges. So they're playing Ryan Hedges in a forward position. Be interesting to see how he gets on, but hopefully we can turn up the day, get the clean sheet, and get the three points. Lyndon Dykes in, picking it up in the final third. He finds Ginelli. Ginelli finds absolutely nobody that we want him to find. Well, half an hour in, absolutely fuck all has happened here. It's been one of the worst games I've ever seen. You're probably looking at these teams and going, how the hell are we third and fourth? Should be 11th and 12th, man. Can barely get any shots off, can barely create any chances, can barely string a pass together. And up are you know, just not willing to commit their own half here. I don't understand this whatsoever. It's O'Donnell then just launching one up towards Dykes, and it's that's probably the best chance we've had. A pass back to Borjan. Moore finds Peter Haring. Haring looking for Hickey. This could be a chance. Hickey in towards Dunbar. Oh, and he's hit it right at Borjan, who still almost fucked it up there. I guess Borjan hasn't really had anything to do, so not really warmed up yet. But this is a bit better for us here. We are looking now to try and create something at least. But Benjamin in towards Dykes. Oh, it's ran through for Dykes. That's brilliant. And it's right at Dunbar. It's right at the keeper again. Borjan pulls off another good stop here. Should Dykes do better? Could he have done better? I mean, possibly. He's tried to go near post there. And Borjan's having none of it. Ball comes in. Hickey tries to fall it away. Not quite on that effort there. It's Dunbar to Benenjami. It's Peter Haring. Haring lays it off to Dunbar again. It's short block. Dunbar chasing it down. Runs into the goalkeeper, collides with him. I think the referee is booked on bar here for making contact on he has. I mean, how can a wee guy like four foot tall fell the keeper like that? I don't understand it, man. Dive by the goalkeeper, but yep, still nil nil here. What a shite game of football. Oh, good tackle by Moore. Just when Aberdeen looked like they were trying to create something. We're into the second half now. Aberdeen still really haven't done much. We haven't offered too much ourselves, but we definitely look like the better team. It's O'Donnell comes back 
Best right back on the world. What's he going to do? He finds Peter Haring who shoots from distance and it's a one-handed save by Borjan. Much better strike this time for Haring, but the Aberdeen goalkeeper makes sure that we do not break the deadlock here. I mean, I, I did say I wanted a clean sheet and it looks like we might be getting one, but the bad news is I think Aberdeen might be getting one too, right? They've just brought on Akinola who scores, always scores against us, so I am worried now. Akinola always seems to fucking bang in a couple of goals every single time he plays us, so... I think we need to make sure that we don't allow him a touch of the ball. That's probably the best way to stop him. Ball flicked over to Halkett. Offside. Poorly timed pass there. And yeah, Halkett has to do better. And fucking hell, Aberdeen just like that take the lead. It pretty much nothing. I mean, it's not Akarola, but it's, I don't care who it is, man. It's, it's this guy here with his arms folded like an absolute prick celebrating in front of the home fans. I think it's Ryan Hedges. I spoke about how, I mean, he started the movement there, and yeah, you can see he finishes the movement. Could Sander Clark do better, maybe? Maybe Sander Clark could have done something a bit better there, but yeah, deadlock broken here, 59 minutes in. Did we deserve to be losing? No. But we find ourselves trailing Aberdeen, and if things stay the way they are, then we would be nine points behind them in the league table, which will not do us here. As we try not only catch up a lead for third, but try and hang on to the old form at the top of the table as well. We want to try and at least mount some sort of title challenge, but losing here today will not help that. Ball played through to Dunbar, but he cannot get on the end of it. Oh, keeper throws it straight to Haring, though. It's going to be Ginelli. Ginelli loses it, man. That's piss poor from Josh Ginelli. Peter Haring. Dunbar. Dunbar, pace from Dunbar, no fucking shooting ability from Dunbar though, and that is going to get him taken off there, yep, Ellis Sims is coming on, I, I can't handle that man, that shot was, he's had five shots in this game and every single one of them has been shite, oh and the keeper's fucked up again, what the hell is the goalie doing, he, he literally passed it to a Hearts player like a minute ago and he's just done it again and Sims who literally just came on the pitch, his first touch, he scored a goal. And it's all the goalkeeper's fault. He's made a massive mistake at the back. And you don't have to give Sims those sort of opportunities. He will, he will finish them. No doubt about it. And it's 1-1. It's one, one. We're right back in this. Sims then wins the header to Ginelli. Ginelli back to Sims. Sims still holds on to the ball. Finds Benenjami. Benenjami up towards Dykes. Dykes chests it down. Finds Sims. Sims out to O'Donnell, this is a good bit of play here, it's Stephen O'Donnell, he's going to try and find Dykes, and he finds Dykes on the edge of the six yard box, we've done it, we've got ourselves in front, two goals in the space of about seven minutes, and it is Hearts 2, Aberdeen 1, we've turned things around here at Petodre, and it's no looking good for the Sheep Shaggers now, I mean, it wasn't looking good for us eight minutes ago, but now, like I said, we've turned it around in, in tremendous fashion there, and Dykes, and Sims with the goals, and maybe I should have started with the Sims and Dykes duel. I gave Dunbar a chance, he fucked that chance right up, but now Sims and Dykes are giving me a chance to right the wrongs, and I've done that at the moment, so 2 on Hearts, it's all about holding on to this now, and if we can see this out, we will bring the gap down to Aberdeen to three points. Ginelli on the count, oh, he's got the pace, cuts inside, oh, he's... Oh, he's still going. Finally lose it there, but I think I think Ginelli could have been away. Aberdeen will take care of him. And it's Aberdeen with a chance. It's Hedges. Oh, no, we've slid in there. And that is piss poor. And it's Akarola. It, it has to be that prick, doesn't it? The guy that always scores against us. But overall, man, that defending was shocking, right? We're going to bring on Harvey here. Um, he is leaving the club, but... We're desperate, so we'll bring him on to see if he can rescue something at this game. But, I mean, giving Akinola a chance like that, he ain't going to miss. And he, he doesn't miss. And now we're taking Haring off with Gavi coming on. And I'm just praying that we can find a third goal here. We can't really afford to drop points here. We need to beat Aberdeen. Get the gap down to three points. Right, two minutes added on. But Benjamin takes the ball in his stride. We're trying to find Dykes. Can we play him on? Got Sims making a run, it's still Benjamin. Oh, and Benjamin goes down, he wins a free kick here. Only problem is it will literally be the last kick of the game. Referee has played 10 seconds more than he has to. 
We've got the free kick. Do we go direct the goal or, or do we try something else? I mean, I'm looking at who's the best free kick taker. And surprisingly, it's Craig Halkett. Shows you how often we get free kicks in this game. Uh, I think we've just got to go for it. This is one of these ones where you just got to shoot, don't you? You have to. You have to kind of shoot. Halkett over the top. Oh, man, and Borjan one-handed save it for a corner. What a goal that would have been. Craig Halkett knows it. Oh, man, Halka over the wall, and it was just about going in there, but Borjan saves it away for a corner. Right, Ginelli now with the corner kick coming in. It's Halka there, rises. Sims is going to try and get to this. He tries to flick it on. He can't. It's headed away, and Aberdeen will survive. Aberdeen will collect a point. They'll get the draw. They'll stay six points ahead of us. Should have won that game. I thought we were the better team throughout, man. Even though the first half, not a lot happened. Still felt like overall we, we should have we done enough to win it, but we didn't win it. Sims and Dykes got us a goal apiece, but we really should have started with those two, and that's a mistake for me. I will have to learn from that. Mullerwell got a point off Celtic as well, so Celtic didn't even gain anything on us. If we could have won that, we would have took two points out of them. So, yeah, nah, just a absolute disaster uh, as far as I'm concerned. Celtic then do remain at the top of the table. And yeah, it was an opportunity to beat Aberdeen and, and bring the gap down to Celtic at the top, down to 10. We haven't done that. It remains at 12. And uh, with only ourselves to blame, I think. So what's this here? What have we got? What was that wee mad thing there? Showing career milestone victories. Can we have a look at that? Uh, career wins, milestone. Match is 139. 50 wins. So we've got 50, 50 wins in our career. That's, that's not bad. The only problem is all the losses that we have. I'd just rather try and erase those losses from the history books. But we have Hibernian up next, Edinburgh Derby. A win over them is always good. It's always a way to boost the confidence, boost morale, and hopefully boost our way up the league table. Uh, we need three points against Hibs. We can't, we can't afford to drop anything against them. So if we turn it up to that game, you can guarantee we'll have Sims and Dykes both up front and hopefully both scoring bags fulls of goals. See the rain then pushing down. It's a shite day in Edinburgh and hopefully we can make it a shite day for Hibernian as well. So we're going to look at the starting lineups. We're going to be Sander Clark again in Nets. Hickey, Moore, Halkett. I thought Nielsen did well when we brought him against Aberdeen, so he's going to remain in there. O'Donnell in the right. Devlin in and Benjamin in the midfield. Mackay uh, just in front of those guys. And again, we are referring to Sims and Dykes up front. Should never have dropped Sims in the last match. That was my mistake. Dunbar. Had some chances, done absolutely nothing with him. As soon as Sims came on, he, he scored with his first touch. So, you know, it, it kind of did, it kind of showed that why Sims is like the main man at Hearts, why he's a starter, and why Dunbar is nothing but a bench warmer. So, yeah, I learned my lesson there. We will stick with Sims and Dykes up front going forward. As for Hibs, you can see the team they're lining up with. Um, just a basic team here. Boyle on the bench, I noticed, which I'm, I'm very happy about Martin Boyle not getting. Onto the uh, the starting eleven, which is good news for us, bad news for Hibs. Maybe he's got an injury or something. Who knows? But we're moments away from kick off. Let's go. Go well, Dykes. Barry McKay is continuing the run, but we've found Sims in instead. Sims, Sims to Devlin, Devlin back to Sims. It's great playing. It's a great goal. We've completely ripped open the Hibernian defence there. Like we were looking for our Christmas presents on the 25th of January, December, man. Just tearing them open at the back, looking to see what we could find. And what we found was a goal from Ellis Sims there. He gave it to Devlin. He was patient. He got it back and he blasted it into the back of the net there. So lovely stuff, lovely goal. Great opening to the match. Like I said, it was a bad day in Edinburgh. And it's getting even worse here for Hibernian as they trail us by a goal to nil. Well, the referee's just randomly pointed to the spot here, and for what? It's clear that he's awarded Hibs a penalty, but it's not clear what he's awarded it for. I mean, oh, come on! Are you serious? Referee? How, how, how can you get away with blatant cheating like that? I, do, I just don't get it, man. He's literally just fell over, and the referee's gave him a penalty. It's going to be Gullin versus Clark. And I tell you what, Clark's made the save. Justice has been fucking done. Get it right up, you the hippies, man. Because that was never a penalty. Great save for Sander Clark. Can we stop them with the corner, though? We can. Brilliant stuff. Devlin makes it go out for a throw-in, but Hibs will continue to apply pressure here. 
Oh, and it's Devlin again sliding in. Halkett as well. Back post. Hickey's off the bar. And Taylor Moore just about gets ready it momentarily. Hips again looking to come forward. It's through into the box and it's like an equaliser, man, for fuck's sake. Ah, we tried, we tried, we tried, we tried to keep it out. Eventually, Hibs do get the goal, but it all came from the penalty. That wasn't a penalty, man. Without that, we'd have been fine. We, we'd have had the ball with Sander Clark. We'd have been on our way to have our own attack. But no, you know, Hibs get the penalty. And then all this stuff built up from the penalty. And eventually, we just couldn't keep the ball at the back of the net. Doyle Hayes with equaliser, but absolute bullshit there for the referee. That's a crime. That's an absolute crime, man. He should be doing a jail sentence for awarding Hibs a penalty like that, man. Just simply, uh, you know, corruption at its finest there from that, that referee. And now we've got it all to do. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, Dykes has found Sims. Oh, and Sims has put it wide. What a great bit of play that was. Sims got found on the run. But he couldn't find the back of the net there, man. He's just put it wide. Keeper getting nowhere near it. But Sims, I think, I thought he'd scored. I thought he'd done enough. But not on that occasion. Ball played out to Hickey. It's good stuff. Hickey, first time crossing to Dykes. Oh, and he's almost put it in. But it's a great save by the goalkeeper. How has he pulled that one off? I don't understand it. We'll see it again. Dykes hitting it first time. I think it takes a... Def no, it doesn't even take a deflection. It's a great... Strike for Dykes, whether he connects with it properly or not, but the goalkeeper man stretches out, gets fingertips on it, denies Hearts a second goal. It is going to be a corner. Can we get a good delivery in? We're looking for Moore. Moore rises, but his header is nowhere near the goal. Dykes trying to get the battle of Caden. He has passed him. Still Dykes. Dykes looking for the run. It's Cammy D. Oh, we've got Sims down in the box, but there's no penalty given to us. Of course not. Devlin's shot is right at the goalkeeper, Brown, and Brown, after initially fumbling it, manages to gather the ball. Sims it to Hickey, Hickey now, he sees Dykes making some run into space in front of him, it's Dykes now holding a ball up, Dykes to Devlin, Devlin flicks it over to Dykes, that is fantastic, but it's a shocking miss for Linden, Dykes, man. The build-up play, you honestly couldn't ask for much more. And Dykes has somehow put that one way. That's... Should we be bringing on Dunbar? Tell Dunbar to get the tracksuit off and start warming up, mate. That, that was a shocking attempt there at Dykes putting us ahead. Speaking of getting warmed up, Martin Boyle has come on. We'll need to watch him. Oh, and I don't believe it. It's number seven. Don't tell me that's Martin Boyle. No, it's McGuinness. Not That doesn't make me feel much better, but... That was fucking horrendous there. That is shocking. And I think, yeah, we're probably going to have to make some subs here. 2-1 down against Hibs. They don't deserve it, but they have the lead. I mean, the defending there is really poor. No one's marking him, and you can't really expect Sander Clark to make a save for that position, can you? And he didn't. So, yeah, we're trailing now 2-1 behind. Sims to Barry McKay. Barry McKay. Nice wee step over, plays it to Aaron Hickey, this is a chance, it's an opportunity, Hickey crosses it in, you've got Benenjami there running in, he can't get to it, it's headed away, and well Hearts' this chance be gone, it looks like it, but Dykes, good interception for Dykes, it's Barry McKay, oh and he's put it wide again man, we just cannot seem to hit the target in this game, right, we're going to bring on Caldero here for Benenjami as we look to push for an equaliser, uh, we just need to be more clinical when we get these chances, man, and actually start making the goalkeeper work for some saves. Barry McKay again holds it up well, plays it out to Hickey, who was on the overlap. Hickey, though, loses it, man. Not good enough. That's good, though, from Taylor Moore. Steps in, wins the ball. Sims cuts back, finds Cammy Devlin, who loses the ball again. So just far too... Much shit happening here with the midfield continuously just giving the ball away cheaply. Dykes back to Barry McKay. Barry McKay again plays it to Hickey. Hickey back to Barry McKay. Barry McKay strikes it. Devlin strikes it. Devlin finds the back of the net. Eventually, man, we get in there. Finally, we've done it. It's Kiami D, the V man, the Australian with the goal from down under. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get another one and send Hibernian 
down under. We've got four minutes to try and find a winner. Uh, just glad to get back on level terms. But again, a draw is not really enough here. We need to try and find a winner. That's what we're going to push for. We're going to bring Gavi on in an attempt to find it. And uh, yeah, hopefully he can uh, can help us grab a winner. But that will be the final contribution from Cami Devlin there. And what a contribution it was. Potentially preventing us from losing to the Hibbies. Ball played up to Sims. This is a chance. It's Gavi to Sims. Sims. Oh, for fuck's sake, Ellis Sims, man. How can you, how can you do that? Turn slower than a double decker there, than a three point turn. And of course, the Hibs player is going to take the ball off you. Ah, uh, final attack then comes to nothing. Hibernian managed to escape here with a point. I don't think they deserved the point, but they're getting a point regardless whether we think they deserved it or not. Uh, we had nine shots and you know, compared to their four, but it doesn't really matter. They scored two goals, we scored two goals. Therefore, it's a 2-2 draw and we share a point apiece. So, uh, yeah, disappointing, but I mean, it is what it is. I'll tell you what it is. It's fucking shit. That's what it is. Anyway, guys, that's good day for this episode. Next time out, um, you know what? I'm pro I'm going to start playing some games offline. We need to try and speed this up, speed the process up. We do have FIFA 23 coming out within the next couple of days, so yeah, I'm going to have to try and get to the end of the season as quickly as possible. So I don't know how exactly I'm going to do it, but I am going to start playing some games offline, and we'll come back for you know maybe the big games. Obviously, the post split games, the cup game against Mullerwell is a massive game that. Uh, we'll definitely come back for as well, but well, we'll keep an eye on the results. We'll keep an eye on the, the big matches, the cup matches, and then obviously post split as well. We'll, we'll be back for that, and yeah, just <laughs> hopefully we can have a good end to the final season of the FIFA 23 Hearts career mode. I mean, we've got four seasons in. That's what we will get by the time we finish it. Happy with that. Was looking to try and get five. It's not to be. Hopefully, though, we can win some silverware. Obviously, we know we're out of Europe. Uh, the league's looking a bit unlikely, especially we're just dropping four points in this episode alone. But we have the Cup. We've never done well in the Cup. I'm not even sure we've ever got out of the, the first... I don't think we've ever made it to the semis of the Cup. I don't. So I'm hoping we can at least do that this time. Let's at least get to the semis. If we try and get to a final, you know, a Cup final, that would be absolutely fantastic. We'll try. We'll try our best. Anyway, guys, that's a good day. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, be some Scotland 90. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you later. Till then, peace.